Andrew Goodwin identified and established a set of characteristics that music videos have, which are called forms and conventions. Throughout my video, many of these forms and conventions were used. One characteristic he identified was the relationship between the lyrics of the song and the visuals. Throughout my video, there is a direct link between the two to tell the story and emphasise the story it tells. I tried to get the audience to feel for themselves the message of the song and hope that the audience bonds with the artist. The rate to scenes are used in the video as, not, as it not only tells the story of the song, but it also makes the whole look of the video more interesting to the audience, which is crucial to keeping them entertained and watching. Narrative scenes are used constantly in music videos to keep them entertained uh, constantly in music videos and are a big characteristic. So using them myself is an example of how we use the forms and conventions of real media products. Andrew Goodwin also identified a relationship between the video, music and the visuals, which can be seen in the video. The song is very acoustic with a soft, gentle sound to it, which has then been emphasised in the colours that I've used. Throughout the video, there is a good use of colour, not only in the rates of scenes, but also in the live performance, which these scenes are having a gentle blue tint to them. This use of colour complements well with the softness of the song, but also helps connect the feelings portrayed. The colour blue symbolises serenity, which is especially true for more greener shades of blue, such as aqua, which is thought to be calm. This works well with the overall video and the music. This complements the green colour of the narrative scenes, which then gives the feeling of peace and tranquility feel. The colour green could also be used to connect the feeling of jealousy seen at the beginning. This use of colour is an example of the relationship between the visuals and music. This use of colours helps to show the feelings and meaning of the music. Andrew Goodwin also pointed out that there is a demand on the part of the record company for lots of close-ups of the main artists. Throughout the video, I have done this, which not only breaks up the video to make it more interesting, but also allows the artists to develop their own iconography, which over time could become their star image. Yeah. It allows for the artists to become known to their audience. While I was preparing to make my magazine advert and DVD digipack, I thought it was very important to make sure the overall look of the items complemented each other and worked well together to make sure the audience could see that they were all from the same artist. To do this, I made sure I used the same colours and themes throughout all the products. You see a constant colour scheme of blue and greens throughout the it items, and as well as the Juno feeling. By keeping the items the same, it makes the audience familiar with the products and what they represent, therefore allowing them to recognise and instantly know what they represent. Keeping the items the same creates the brand image and can be used again with all the artists' merchandise. This branding helps the audience identify and recognise what artists it represents. I believe I've used this well and have been co consistent with that throughout. Looking at the products together, I think you can you'll see that they are all from the same product and that they are meant to be together. After completing my own music video, it was important to get audience feedback to tell me whether I had achieved what I was trying to do, whether they liked it and what they thought I could improve on. It was important to find out what the audience felt about my project as it was potentially for them and needed to appeal to them. I was pleased to receive very good feedback from everyone saying they enjoyed watching it, giving it an average 8 out of 10 and all were, eight, that en were then able to recognise the genre of the music and said the video fitted this genre. The most interesting thing I learned from the feedback was the success of the animated backgrounds, with many people comment commenting on how well these work with the overall look and feel of the video. I really felt it worked well with the indie genre. This meant I had managed to make a music video that used the right ratios to make the music video that fitted the genre of my music. Many comment commented on how they liked the overall storyline and felt I'd used the right ratio of storyline with the live performance. I found that the biggest problem with the music video was the music quality. I was pleased with others picked up on this as I felt it was the main weakness and we definitely need improving on. If I was to do the project again, I'd improve the quality of the music to a much higher standard and make sure it was perfect before carrying on with the video. After asking the artist what she thought about the video, she also commented about the animation saying how she liked it but thought that maybe there could have been a little more of it and mentioned the quality of the music. After receiving the feedback, I thought I'd it was a very good idea to go with the animation of the video and we'll do it again. I'll just do the project again. Without the use of media technology, it would have been very difficult to complete, complete and produce the media production. Throughout the product, a wide range of technologies were used to 
help enhance creating and make possible the first video. Doing research before the production of the video was very important to get an idea and feeling of the music video consists of and what audience had to see. This, however, would have been very hard and time consuming to do without the use of technology. The internet played a vital role in this stage and helped in sympathy. It allowed me to get a great understanding, more useful understanding, which then went on to help me with the overall project. A variety of websites were used, including YouTube and Google, to research existing videos, but also SlideShare and SurveyMonkey to present the research I found and do some primary research myself. These were all beneficial and helped a lot, not only in giving information, which would have otherwise been difficult to find, but also in allowing me to do some primary research myself to find out exactly what I needed and what was relevant to me. Without the use of the internet, the research stage would have been very difficult and would have been limited to the amount of information available to me. The internet was not only used in the research stage, but was also very helpful in many other parts of the project, including the planning stage. It allowed for constructive audience feedback on my ideas, which helped me helped to make sure my video was something both the artist and the audience would like. As well as the internet, technologies such as Word and PowerPoint were vital in the planning stage, but also played a part in all stages. It allowed for me to write and present my work, which would later be uploaded to my name. It, as well as it gave me ability to be able to go back to it and make adjustments easily. Without the use of these programs, it would have meant having to write things many times, which would have been time consuming and would put me off trying to improve and adjust it. Technology has played a part at every stage of the product, but was so important in the constructive stage. Without the use of technology, it would have been impossible to film, produce, or edit the footage. Many different technologies were used, from the cameras and the blue screen while filming, to Adobe Premiere and After Effects and editing. Without the use of these, making the video would have been an impossible challenge, and we wouldn't have been able to produce the same quality of work. They allowed me to produce the music video, which was to a high standard, and make it a credible music video. However, one of the biggest technologies used during the product, Nick, this was used to present everything I'd done in my coursework. It allowed me to keep everything I'd done in one easy to access place where I could go and find everything I had done. This worked a lot better than if I had done it in hard copy as I was able to go back, replace items and constantly change and improve my work. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was really quick. <laughs> that was good though. Okay.